Fed up with your city's roads, you go around collecting data on potholes in your area. Due to an unfortunate coffee spill, you lost bits and pieces of your data. So given your data frame of pothole measurements, discard rows where more than half the values are NAN, otherwise impute NANs with the average value per column, unless the column is non-numeric, in which case use the mode. Here's the solution I came up with. Let's break it down. Data frames have an isNull method that checks if each element is null. In this case, potholes.isNull returns a data frame with the same shape as potholes full of Boolean values indicating whether each element is null. If we chain that with dot sum axis equals one, we get back the sum of true values, i.e. null values, in each row. If we compare that to half the number of columns in the data frame, it'll tell us which rows we need to drop. But before we drop those rows, we should use the data they have to help us fill in NANs in other locations. Now, potholes.mean returns a series with the average value excluding NANs in each numeric column, which we can use in conjunction with potholes.fillinA to fill in missing values. Next, we fill in missing values for the location column. Potholes.location.mode gives us the mode of location, so we pass that into potholes.location.fillinA with in place equals true. The only problem is that potholes.location.mode returns a series, and when you pass a series into fillinA, pandas uses index alignment to map the fill values into the original series based on matching index labels. To get around this, we chain potholes.location.mode with dot i at square bracket zero to pick out the first value in the mode series, which in turn fills all the NANs in the location column. Lastly, we get rid of rows we're supposed to exclude via potholes.loc square brackets negation drop rows because we want to retain rows where the value in drop rows is false. And now we have a nice clean data set we can present to our city council.